Welcome to math. Today we're going to work with two digit number stories. So you're going to tell, model, and solve number stories with two and three add-ins. So remember add-ins are the numbers that you're adding together. The sum is the number that it equals. So we're going to use these two pages, uh, 188 and 189. They're called the School Store Mini Poster 1 and Mini Poster 2. So this is just a poster that has items that would be in a school store and it tells you how much the little sticker tags tell you how much the, that item is. So when we're um, working through math today, we're going to use these two posters for reference. So in first grade math, all year I have um, introduced strategies to use in solving math problems. So today I'm just going to do a quick review of different strategies that we've learned or different charts that we've, we've learned to use to solve our math problems. So we're going to use this chart, the school store mini poster, to, to work on our word problems. So the first one we're going to use the parts parts total diagram. So the word problem is Omar bought an eraser for 17 cents and stickers for 25 cents. How many cents did Omar spend? So if you look at the poster, stickers are 25. So I'm writing 25 cents in our parts because that's part of part of what we're adding together. And then 17, here's the eraser. There's 17 cents for that one, so we'll put 17 in the other parts. I'm going to put the cent sign. So we have to figure out what the total is. So when you're adding two-digit numbers, you have to remember the place value. This is the tens, and this is the tens. This is the ones, and this is the ones. So you, when you're adding a two-digit number, you want to start with the ones. So the ones place value you're going to add first. Because remember, if you, if you had um, the place value mat, mat and you had over 10 blocks in the ones, that would regroup and go to the 10. So you would trade it out. So if I was to put those numbers, so we have... Um, a 7 and a 5 in the 1. So I'm going to draw those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I took these two numbers, the 1's digit, the 7 and the 5, and I put them in the 1's place value. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add them up, and if we have more than 10, we're going to put that group of 10 over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all of these are going to go into a group of 10. We're going to put them over there. All right, so I'm going to erase these because we put them in the 10s. We're going to erase those, and we have two left over. Now we have to go to our tens place value. So we've got a 1 here and a 2 here. So we're going to have 1 and 2, right? Get it? 1 group of 10, 2 groups of 10. So a total of 3, but we have this one from over here. So our answer, our total is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, and we have 2 cubes left over. So 42. So 25 plus 17 equals 42. Okay, you can also use your number grid. Go to your number grid. Start at 25 and add up 17. Well, we know that 1, if you look at 17, it's going to be sideways, but if we look at 17, we have 110 here, so we're going to go down 1. Now we're going to add 7. 1, 2, so this would be the 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And what did we land on? 
42. What did we say our answer was? 42. Beautiful. Now, we could use the change to more diagram. But we're going to change our um, number story. So Diego has 20 cents. So he has 20 cents. His mom gives him 60 more. So 60 more his mom gives him. How many cents does Diego have now? So he had 20, his mom gives him 60, so are we adding or subtracting? Yes, we're going to add, so we're going to put a plus sign there. Now, same thing, we don't have to, there's, the one's digits are zero, so we don't have to add anything there, so we're going to put a zero there. So again, if we were to use the 10 frame, there would be no, no blocks there, okay, because both of these one's digits are zero. And if we were to look at the tens place value, there's a six and a two. So you could quickly just add six and two and put it in front of that zero. So let's do that. Six, seven, eight, right? So our answer is 80. If you need a visual, you can draw the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw the two. One, two, and then add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, there's nothing here, so your answer is 80. Okay, so again, that's how to use the change to more diagram. All right, let's try another one where we're going to use the number grid. This is, a, this is a comparison diagram. When you're comparing something, okay? Destiny is trying to decide whether to buy the ball, so the ball is 50 cents, or the scissors, and the scissors is 30 cents. So Destiny's trying to decide if she wants to buy the ball for 50 cents or the scissors for 30 cents. How much more does the ball cost than the scissors? So, how are we going to do this? There are many ways we can do this. We can count back or we can count up. So you can decide which way you want to do it. Alright, if we were going to count back, we would start with the bigger number. So that would be... Was it the ball? Yep, we would start with the ball. So the ball is 50. And we're going to count back the scissors, which is 30. So it's counting by 10. So we would go 10, 20, 30. So the question is, how much more does the ball cost than the scissors? And what do we land on? 20. So that's your answer. 20 cents more. Okay? If we were going to count up, we could start at 30, and we would count how many, t how many hops to get to 50, because 50 is how much the ball is. So it would be 10, 20. So our answer would be 20. All right, perfect.